welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by. If you are a current subscriber, thank you so much for your support. And if you like what you see in this video, please consider subscribing if you haven't already so you don't miss my next flip through. So what you're looking at is my second bullet journal. I'm using a 240 lined page moleskin journal in a vintage limited edition print. I purchased this at Target and the price was $22.95. The reason why I'm more excited about this bullet journal being the second one that I have done is because my first one was a learning process. And when I first stumbled upon bullet journal videos and the idea and the concept behind them. It was everything that I loved about journaling. It combined list making with uh, creating an agenda, calendaring, um, using it as a diary, um, everything that I loved all in one place. I also like the aspect of incorporating hand-drawn doodles and practicing fonts and things like that. So um, my first one, again, was a learning process, and this one is going to be as well, but I'm just doing things a bit differently this time around. So I'm just going to get started and open this up and show you. Um, the first thing that you may notice if you're familiar with bullet journaling um, is that I'm missing an index, and I did that on purpose because in my first journal, I tried to do the indexing. I'm sorry, this page does not want to lay flat. My first journal, I tried to do the index and I ended up running out of space. I didn't have things organized in a cohesive way enough to put pages one through 40 or pages, you know, 41 through 60. I was all over the place with my layouts and so every single layout that I was doing was taking up another line and I just simply ran out of space. So in order to avoid that stress, because I like things to be a certain way, I like things to be orderly and neat, in order to avoid the stress of messing up the index, I just left it out altogether. Will I do an index in the future in other bullet journals? I may, I'm not sure, but for this one, I just went a little bit more freely with it. So I started out with a dashboard page and I just wrote September in a simple block font. And as you can see, I'm just kind of zooming in on the midsection. Um, you know, some of these I actually did different designs inside and some of them I just colored in solidly. So just hello September, very simple. I added some leaves and things like that, but nothing too fancy. So that is my quote unquote dashboard page for the beginning of the notebook. And then when I flip this page, you're going to see some thoughts I had about the bullet journaling process itself. Um, thoughts, keywords, however you would like to describe it. Um, Thursday started the new month of this journal. It was a fresh start. Um, you know, I'm just kind of marking that with some text and just a little reminder for myself that doing the journal is not a chore. Um, and to remember to enjoy the process. And I get caught up in that a little bit because especially as the month goes on, if I don't keep up with it as timely as I would like to, I, I start to feel a little bit stressed, like I need to kind of hurry up and play catch up. Um, but that's not really what it's about for me. So um, I just wanted to remember that it's okay to, you know, get behind a little. It's okay to, you know, catch up in due time. So that's what this page was about. And instead of having a keyword, I kind of had this key theme in mind. So this is my month on two pages for September. Really, really plain compared to my last bullet journal. I actually used some washi tape on my month on two page layouts in that one. That's the only time I ended up using the washi tape. But um, for this one, I didn't want to add any embellishments. I wanted everything to be hand drawn and just my writing. I didn't want to add stickers or washi tape. And that's not to say because I don't like those things. I really do. And I have a craft room full of those things. Um, but I just wanted this particular notebook to be about my own creation and my own designs. And it's just, it's almost a challenge, you know, to do something like that because it's a lot of blank space to fill when you're not using embellishments on top of that. Now in my next notebook, the ideas that I have for that, I'm going to be using a lot more stickers, a lot more embellishments, 
placements that are seasonal or just appropriate to the layout. So here, just really simple for October, and I just have some pumpkins across the top and this little kind of outdoor lighting down here. Um, I drew a little barrel with apples in it, marked Halloween. This is actually kind of silly, but, ooh, I'm sorry. Um, but this is my rendition of a little bat, which, yeah, it's, that's my first go at that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, doodling is so much fun. I don't always nail it, but I do enjoy trying. So um, here in November, this is a little bit more detailed, I think. I tried doing a little fence with a turkey, a football. I wrote, be thankful in cursive. This is supposed to be a little squirrel. Maybe not so much. <laughs> Again, <laughs> it's just trying. And then up here, I just wrote, count your blessings. And what I really liked, I really liked how this particular leaf turned out in this corner here. Um, I like that I added a little bit of texture to it. I like how I did the same thing with the acorn. So those I'm a fan of. This turkey, um, you know, it almost looks like it started out as a hair bow. And it just went a little bit wrong. But... Um, you know, I colored him in and I tried to make him dignified anyway. So that's what November looks like. And then December, I just kind of adorned this with some hand-drawn ornaments, you know, just like they were kind of hanging from a ceiling or from wherever, um, a department store maybe. It kind of reminds me of something like that. And of course, I have Christmas marked here on the 25th and I have snow written at the bottom in cursive and that's it. So, you know, really, really simple. Nothing too extraordinary. But again, if you do this, you know that these things do take time. So that's why I'm so slow to upload new flip throughs because I'm busy actually working on the content. So here I decided to do a month on a page and I just wanted to list the days. Um, this style is probably not new to any of you. All you do is write the first letter of the day of the week and then the corresponding date. So, you know, Thursday, September 1st, it just has TH1, um, F9, S10, of course, you know, that's Saturday the 10th. I adorned this with some more drawings of apples and leaves, and down here, I just wrote jack-o'-lantern above a jack-o'-lantern, and I wrote the word boo, because um, it's getting toward Halloween at this point in the month, so. Again, very simple. And then this one I liked a little bit better because I really enjoyed adding a little bit more color. And that's something that I realized was important for me because if I'm not gonna be using stickers or washi tape, I realized that I do prefer using more color in my journal because I just think it adds interest, it's more visually appealing to me. And so I decided to break out um, some of my different colored pens and just make sure that I add those extra details. So I did some Christmas lights up here. They're supposed to be hanging lights, some holly berries. Um, down here is a little pine cone. I wrote the word joy. Um, and over here, I just have some more leaves because this is still technically into fall. And I do like how the month fonts turned out. I'm gonna try and zoom in on that. But I just put some little dots around December and I just embellished November a little bit with some squiggles and dots as well. So um, again, nothing too fancy, but it's just those little added details that I think add the most interest. So that ends my month on a page in that style anyway. And then here I have some September goals. So I just drew a banner across the top. I added a little bird. He's just kind of hanging out and maybe making sure that I stick to these goals. And I divided this into two sections. So um, one side is for my YouTube channel and things like that. And then the other side are my personal goals. So again, these are just for September. And what I like about this journal itself is that I've decided to divide it up month by month. Whereas before I was getting really into, you know, my Christmas wish list, my Christmas gift to buy list. And it was followed with, um, you know, 
my Halloween decoration page. It, it was just too scattered. So what I've tried to do in this one is just, again, keep everything a little bit more cohesive and organized and keep September with September. Then when September is over, I'm going to start into the more detailed pages and layouts for October and so on and so forth. That way I feel like everything is condensed. It's organized the way it should be and it just makes sense as far as the flow. So the September goals can be definitely altered in October. I may have totally different things in mind or I may have um, most of these end up being repeats. So it just depends. You know, will we get to cleaning out the garage in the basement in September? I would like to. It's definitely a goal. If we don't, I'm probably going to add it to my October goals because it's not something that's going to go away. We eventually have to get to it. But again, it just depends. So you know, this is a page that's going to be a work in progress as far as what I personally accomplish. And then we'll see how we move on into the next month. So here I repeated the fresh month idea that I did at the beginning of the journal. And I just wrote that, you know, um, the theme will begin on the first day of each new month. My goals will reset exactly what I just explained. Um, progress progress and accomplishments will be tracked and measured. So that's the idea that is kind of at the heart of what this journal is all about for me. And then here is my first day of September and I ended up just making this an entire page layout. So I just added some really nice goldish leaves and things like that just to embellish um, and then just wrote some things that I did that day. I had physical therapy. My husband returned from a business trip in Mexico. Um, I worked that day from 8 to 5. I had to pick up our dogs um, and I started a letter writing challenge that I had posted on my Instagram account. So the letter writing challenge was just a challenge to myself that I was going to write a letter to a different individual every single day during the month of September. And so far, I have stuck to that challenge. Um, I reached out to some Instagram friends. I put it out there. If you would like to be snail mail pen pals for a month, you know, or maybe even further than that, um, contact me. And um, quite a few people did. And then in the interim or in the middle of all that, I kind of filled in the blanks with sending some cards to personal friends and family that, you know, I had just wanted to reach out to. So, um, challenge has been a success. So Friday, um, again, I met some friends for quote unquote wine night and I had to prep for Saturday cleaning. Um, and then we'll prep because we had somebody coming here. And then of course, you know, we had to pick up our own things and make sure that it wasn't too much of, um, a sty. So um, day two of my letter writing challenge and I also wrote down that it was payday. And then here on Saturday and Sunday I didn't feel like I had enough content to actually um, warrant an entire page for each one of those days so I just divided it into two. Um, and these are just like general errands and you know um, typical happenings. You know meeting my mom for lunch, um, you know cleaning appointment, letter writing challenge, laundry, um, I wanted to change out my purse, go to Target, prepare my vitamins for the week. Vitamin tracking is something that I really got into on my last bullet journal and I do plan to incorporate into this one because it was very successful for me and it really kept me on track. And then here, Monday was Labor Day. So I just um, kind of wrote down some things that I wanted to do and then I added some things that I got done and I just wrote at the end, it's been a much needed long weekend and that it was. Um, and then Tuesday back to work and I just tried to do some little office doodles with a, a mouse, some paper clips, a laptop, things like that. And then Wednesday, I really didn't have much to note. And so when I don't have much to notate, I feel like I still need to do something and maybe just do some doodling. Um, so I just wrote an uneventful day and that's not necessarily a bad thing. Sometimes when we have uneventful days, it can be a blessing. It can be a, a rest for us. It could be anything. So on Thursday, I had to go for my very first spinal injection at the Cleveland Clinic. And that's a different video on into itself or in into itself on into. Um, but I just tried to write kind of a concerned little face and the needle and a back x-ray. I don't know, you know, maybe that's truly what my back really looks like. I don't know. But anyway, I didn't have work that day. And then Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I put all on one day because 
I was not working those days. Um, typically, I only work Monday through Friday, but I had Friday off because of the injection too. And so I didn't have a lot going on. And so I just still wanted to make a layout. So I just filled it in with, you know, a, a large relax word written in a larger font and things like that. So moving here, I didn't really track. I'll be honest, I had done this layout as an afterthought because I wasn't really tracking. I got very, very busy. I got very busy with work and some projects going on at home, but I still did my layout and it still serves as a bit of a calendar. So even if I didn't really track a lot of what was going on, I still feel like I can look back in this and it is a complete calendar for me. So this is definitely where the plan with me comes in. You know, I, I use this also as a planner now, a personal planner. I use something different for work, but this is my personal planner now. The first official week of fall, my header for this page is weak. It is bad, it is just written in a font that took a wrong turn. So it's just not impressive. Um, I like the border that I did. I'm pleased with that. Again, these are just some things that I filled in and I've just been like notating, but it's been another busy week. So, you know, it's not really my best effort. And so I wanted to show you what that looks like anyway. Monday, September 26th, I just gave it a full day. I'm not really sure why. It really doesn't notate anything important going on. I just felt like doing that kind of header and I figured that type of header, it really kind of calls for an entire page. I think it's very bold and I do like the way it turned out. And then Tuesday and Wednesday, I just put on, on one page as well. And I just did a different type of font. And then here, Thursday and Friday, I also put on um, one page. I haven't gotten to those dates yet. I will be filling things in as they occur. Um, but again, that takes me through the entire month of September. So I'm really, really happy with it. I'm pleased with the way it turned out. And you here on this page are getting a sneak preview of the way my month of October is going to start. I'm already into it. I'm already planning out my calendaring pages. Um, I'm very excited about it because I have some additional ideas of layouts that I want to do. I want to make it more than just calendaring for um, the month of October. In September, it was a bit of a transition. I was still working in my old bullet journal while I was trying to prepare this one. Um, so that's why it, you know, it, it looks like it's lacking a bit as far as my tracking and my listing goes. Um, but again, that's because it was still part of my older one. So transition is sometimes difficult, especially when you're trying to transition into a very similar journal that serves a similar purpose. So unless you have a hard and fast end and start date, you know, it's just, it can get a little muddy. And so that's what happens. That's where I'm at. Um, Hello October is right around the corner. It's going to be here sooner than we think. I've already started a couple pages. I'm not really going to get into that because I want to save that for my October flip through, but I've already got some things in the hopper and some ideas going. And so I hope you do enjoy it. Um, if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. That way I know that this is something that you would like to see more of. This is a very new series from my channel. Um, typically I do more DIYs and hauls and things like that. The bullet journaling I have found out is just something that I absolutely love. I want to continue to do it, but I also want to know that I do have viewers out there who are looking forward to it and are actually watching these types of videos. We're looking for these types of videos. So again, if you haven't subscribed and you are interested in seeing more like this, um, please do so. I don't plan on quitting my hauls and DIYs anytime soon. My channel is very eclectic. It is all over the place and I try to come up with different ideas and I just do videos when they strike me. Um, you know, different, sometimes I feel more creative. Sometimes I just want to show you what I bought when I was out shopping on a Saturday. So that's my whole explanation. Thank you so much for watching. I hope everyone's fall is off to an excellent start. I hope everyone is very excited for this new season, this fresh beginning, the cool crisp air, the apple farms, the cider, and the pumpkin spice everything. I know that we're all on the same page with that. So as always, I hope you're doing well and I will see you in the next video. Thanks Take care. Thanks for watching guys. Really, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.